hey, it's me, Tony. Uh, before you watch this, look, they made they made shirts with my face on them. You might want to wear one. You might not. I don't know. The link's in the description. Okay, here comes a bunch of episodes. Hey there, buddy. Heard the good news? Look, I know you're an angel now, Champ Bradley, but I swear to God, if you say one word about Jesus to me, I'm gonna shove this computer right up here. No, not that good news. This good news. In what world is that good news? It's great news. This means more work for us. More chances for Chad Bradley to shine. Still bad news. Also, do we want more dead people? Is that our goal? I've never been clear on what the hell we're actually doing here. Work is calling. la di da di da da Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lost, Chad Bradley. All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, God damn it. Hello, I'm Tony Purgatelli. This is Purgatory and you're dead. Tony Purgatelli. I know it's a weird name, plus it sounds kind of like Purgatory, which you think would be convenient, but it's totally not. It's it. you! Well, Coach Crothers! <laughs> I can't believe it. My all-star high school baseball champ. Look at you. Wow, my old coach! We got a real character history together, you and me! So what are you doing in this stuffy old office afterlife, Tony? You should be in a field of dreams type of place. A baseball heaven! Yeah, well, coach, it turns out you don't really get to pick your afterlife, so you... <laughs> you were so talented, Tony. The best! You could have been anything! You could have been a baseball coach! Well, you know, I mean, I lost that championship, and I missed out on the scholarship, and... Wait, 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 hold on! Why is baseball coach at the top of your aspiration list here? Why are you indoors pushing those computer buttons? You should be outdoors pushing a ball really fast, with a bat! Look, you know, it's not so bad here, coach. I mean, I got a stable job, I got a computer, I got this, uh, filing cabinet. Oh, poor, poor Tony. All that potential, all that promise, all of those baseball years wasted. The fuck's a baseball year? And here you are wasting away at a desk. What a shame! Okay, well, you know, it was nice catching up with you, coach. I mean, look, you, you were always a friend and a mentor to me, and I'm supposed to get really in-depth in examining the events of your life, but I'm gonna go ahead and send you to heaven. Tony Office Line, you get in now! No, oh, hold on a second, Coach Crothers. I'll be right back. This actually happens a lot. Hey, what's up, boss? Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. What are we doing here? You called me in here. No, I mean, what are we doing in purgatory? Back in the day, people's fates weren't decided by stuffy office button pushers. Oh, come on now, that's not nice. People's fates used to be decided the old-fashioned way. War? No. Uh, gladiator fights. Shut up, baseball, Tony. Baseball. Back in the baseball years, when men were men, and women had a league of their own. Now, it's funny you mention baseball, because I just got this new client, my old coach. Our stories seem to be intertwining in some contrived way, but now I'm nervous about what you're going to say next. Tony, we're going to have a company baseball game to determine the fate of those 40,000 dead people from the stadium collapse. Oh, jeez, there it is. Narrative synergy. Cold open flowing right into Act 1. Oh, crap. There's no stars, there's no sun, no time off for anyone. There's no clock on the wall, there's no end to it all. Everyone's on overtime, and there's no overtime. Oh, your book life is weighed on a good band of fighter. Oh, there's much too much to grade for a cynical decider. This is hardly working, this is hardly living, this is my job. I didn't come up with a post theme song line for this one, sorry. Have you ever seen Space Jam, Tony? No. What? Are you kidding me? I'm outside of space and time, and even I've seen it. Anyway, Purgatory is going to put together a baseball team, and I want you to coach it. One game, winner take all, all 40,000 souls. Oh, okay. Who's the other team? Uh, hell. Wait, 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 wait. It sounds like you said hell. Look, Tony, I fucked up. I fucked up really bad. I made one of those devil deal things. A deal with the devil? Yeah, that. Oh, God. Satan challenged me to a contest of souls, and I said yes, and then he said, choose the terms, and I said, baseball years, bitch! And, well, I can't back out now. Keep this between us. Oh, this is getting really complicated. You're gonna be facing off against a bunch of monsters, Tony. I mean, demons. Horrific hell beasts. Horns, wings, all of it. Oh, man. If you win, all those souls come to purgatory for judgment. But if you lose, they all go straight to hell! No! Well, that means Coach Crothers, my mentor! 
He'll go to hell too! Ha! There you go, Tony! There's your character motivation! Now get to it! Put on this hat! Here's a whistle! You're a coach now! All right, who's on my team? Let's see, we got Jam Bradley. Well, he's probably pretty good. We got Samuel. Hey, he's big. This guy. We got that guy. We go oh, no, not Prince Narplebottom. Baseball sounds delicious. Ooh, how do you participate? Which end of the stick goes in my rectum? Ball, oh God, we're doomed. Wow, Tony, look at you. You're a real baseball coach. Now get your team motivated with a speech. Oh, okay, all right, uh, all right. Uh, listen up, team. You're gonna do great. We're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna run, we're, we're gonna win the game and decide the fates of uh, tens of thousands of people. Oh, man, this is horrible. The stakes are too high. I can't handle this. I got this, Tony. Team, these are the times that define our afterlives, our baseball years. You're gonna go out there and put your nose to the grindstone, your brains to the ball bat, and switch your arms to swingy catchy mode. Our time is now, and you're the best damn team I could have asked for. Yay, Chad Bradley! I'm motivated now. Good speech, Tony. <laughs> there are three more balls inside of me, and none are in my mouth. <laughs> oh god, these guys are pretty huge and scary. I don't think we're gonna beat them. Plus, if we don't win, Coach Crothers and everybody else goes to hell. Oh god, oh jeez. I'm sure we can do it, Tony. It's like Space Jam. That means nothing to me. Why does everyone keep referencing that movie? <laughs> you haven't seen Space Jam? It won the Oscar, Tony. Hey, Tony, couldn't help but notice you're down 20 points and it's the seventh inning. If you don't mind a bit of coach-to-coach -coach advice. Oh, yeah, Coach Crothers, that would be great. Be better. Oh. Stop being bad. Right. Tell your team to also stop being bad. Oh, okay. Try to get the other guys to hit the ball less and have your guys circle the bases more. Oh, okay. Well, that's sort of what I was going for, Coach Crothers, but, you know, the other team is made up of, like, eight-foot-tall, fire-breathing hell beasts. So. I believe in you, Tony, but that belief's gonna run out real quick if you lose this game. No pressure or anything. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. No, oh, no, not gonna do that. You're just gonna keep the bench warm, okay? Oh, I'm going to be keeping it wet with all this excitement. Oh, how I wish my family could see me now. My mother, my father, my sister, my nephew, all, both of those people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're inbred. I get it. I get your thing. Tony, watch out! Hello, Tony. Oh, who are you? I'm Space Jam. Oh my god, really? Everybody's been referencing you today. It's so great to finally meet you. I, I can't believe you're an actual jar of jam in space. We're inside your imagination. I'm what you think I am. Oh, cool. Your imagination sucks, Tony. Oh. But you can still win the game if you listen to me carefully. I'm listening. It sounds like you're really in a jam. <laughs> I'm being motivational. Shut up for a sec. Oh, I thought you were making a joke. I wasn't. You're in a jam, and I can get you out of it if you heed this advice. You have to cheat. Wait, wait, what? You have to cheat at the game, just like the Monstars did against Bugs Bunny in the movie. You need Bill Murray, too. I'm not sure how my imagination has seen a movie I haven't seen, but I, I think you're right. I, I think I can win this game if I cheat. Whoop, there it is. Now get out there and jam, Tony. Cheat, Bill Murray. Wakey, wakey, Tony. Look at the scoreboard. After you got knocked out, I took your hat and your whistle and said all of the things you were meant to say to the team. You're doing it, champ. You're coaching a winning team. Oh, uh, thanks for... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 Tony. Like this. Last one, Tony. This is all you, bud. Great job. Great catch, Sport! You did it! You... You! You threw the baseball! You knocked me out and took over for me! That's what you always did! You never believed in me! I was never good at baseball! <laughs> of course you weren't, Tony! You were terrible! But I needed to win! So I made you a champion. 
by being a better you than you could ever be. Those weren't even my flashbacks, were they? They were yours! You can't have flashbacks, Slugger, on account of how many times I've beamed you in the head. That part of your brain is dead, Tony. Th then what happened to my scholarship? You built me up for all those years and I still didn't get it! But you did. Well, I did. As you! I accepted the scholarship since it was rightfully mine and went to college under your name. Full ride! Oh god, my life is a lie! I also lost your virginity for you, Tony. To your girlfriend. It's just like Space Jam. Oh my god, she was 16! You're a monster, Coach Carruthers! A monster! Look, Tony, you're not good at baseball or sex or anything. So old Coach Carruthers had to help you out a little by injuring your brain and assuming your identity over and over. And, if you don't mind, I'm gonna help you out one more time so we can win this game and you can send old Coach Carruthers to heaven. Time out, Coach Carruthers! Oh? A giant skeleton said I'm the coach of this team of weirdos, so I'm calling the shots! Hey, Prince! Yes? Tony, what are you doing? That guy's worse at baseball than you are at having sex with my 16-year-old girlfriend! Hey, uh, Prince Narplebottom or whatever? Play ball! Oh, fuck me, it's just like Space Jam! Iraq! One! Oh, that one was fast! It's hard to hold this ball stick with my webbed butt cheeks! Iraq! Two! Ow, I think that one tore the supple flesh right off my backside! Oh, am I facing the right direction? Iraq! Three! He's out! Oh, that was exhilarating! My breeches are soiled with excitement and organs. And that's the game! Hell win! Hell win! Tony, maybe you'll want to step in for your old coach on this one. At least knock me out! Way to go, Tony! You really settled that personal grudge at the expense of 40,000 innocent souls! Half of them were children, but at least you resolved some backstory. Oh, right, children. I guess I really sent a lot of kids to hell there. Oh man, death is gonna be pissed. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm probably free and clear of any responsibility, so... Later, Gators. Tony, get in here! Mind explaining yourself? Huh? Uh, don't act so surprised, Tony. I'm a hundred feet tall, of course it's huge. Take a picture, why don't you? Anyway, you really screwed the pooch out there, Tony. 40,000 souls down the gutter. Yeah, but like, the whole thing was your idea. I mean, you picked me as the coach and put the team together. I feel like this one's on you. You're right. Maybe I am partly to blame. Or completely, I don't know. I mean, you gambled away 40,000 souls. Yep, partly to blame. You know, I learned something today, Tony. Maybe baseball and business shouldn't mix. I could have told you that back at the beginning. I mean, I feel like nothing was accomplished here, you know? Nobody's story was advanced, nothing really made any sense. If I was binge-watching this, I could probably just skip the whole thing with no consequences. Life is kind of like baseball, Tony. No, baseball's not a metaphor Life for everything. Life is kind of like a game of football. No, no it, it, just because you change sports doesn't Have you ever seen Little Giants, Tony? No. Remember the Titans? No. Angels in the Outfield? No. Mighty Ducks? Rudy? The Sandlot? Caddyshack? No! Ah, you're breaking my bones, Tony. Whatever, get back to work. What about Airbud? You seen Airbud? No! Okay, that's my next plan. Meet me at Dog Heaven in 10 minutes. We're doing this. Hey, Death? What is it, Tony? Are you selling shirts with my face on them? Of course I am! Is that even legal? Yes, I own the company, Tony. I own you and your face. So, well, do I get any of the money? Nope. Can, can, can I have a shirt? No! You can oh. buy one like everyone else! The link's in the description, Tony! Oh, man. Get I, out! The oh, next episode's oh, gonna start! Okay, okay, God! This is hardly working. This is hardly living. This is my job! Hey, get the kids in the room. This is a very special episode. <laughs> Zero new clients? Hey, Chad Bradley, I don't have any clients today. Do you have. Chad Bradley? <laughs> Hello? Hello?
Hey, Dad, there's nobody upstairs, and I thought maybe they were all hiding for my surprise party, but did I remember nobody likes me? Tony, the office is empty because we're fumigating for termites. There's termites in purgatory? Yes, Tony. They ate their way out of termite heaven and into my building. It fucking sucks. Ugh. Super guck, right? And if we leave even one of them alive, they'll reinfest the whole place again. Where did dead termites go after you kill them twice? The same place you'll go if you stay here and get dosed with toxic murder gas. So, so I can die again? I don't know, maybe. Do you want to find out? No, 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 I don't I don't think I do. Then leave this place, Tony. Where am I supposed to go? I'm sending everyone down to Earth until the toxic gas clears. Earth? Oh, you mean we're going like on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So not a vacation? <laughs> I'm not done laughing, shut up. No. <laughs> vacation? Oh my. No, uh, you're going down there to work. No, oh, we're gonna work on Earth? Tony, just because purgatory is shut down doesn't mean people are gonna stop dying. To speed things up, we've let the computer pre-approve them for either heaven or hell. The computer can do that? Why don't you just always do that? I don't know, Tony. I don't make the rules. Yes, you specifically do! Yeah, whatever. You just need to introduce yourself, give them the quick sales pitch, and then get them to sign. Sign? Sign what? You know, the dotted line. If they sign, they're guaranteed to skip purgatory altogether when they die and go straight to their pre-approved afterlife. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, and Tony, jazz it up a bit, okay? Call heaven the, uh, platinum elite plan and hell the executive plus. No, the emerald advantage. No, 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 executive plus. Well, what about you, Death? Where, where are you gonna go? I have important business to attend to on Earth. Oh, hey, Tony, hey, before you go, heed these words. Whatever you do, and this is very important, don't start a religion. I wasn't planning on it. Don't do it, Tony. I won't. Don't. I'm not going to. Do it. I'm not. I'm serious. I'm not even going to try. Good. Okay, how do I get home? Oh, here. Call when you're done, buddy. Okay, but, uh... Ah! Here I am back on Earth again. Everything looks the same. Okay, here I go. Hmm, Maximilian Alistair Shrank. Okay, whatever. Here goes. Can I help you? Hey, I'm Tony. Oh, are you responding to my unclassified ad? Are you willing to participate in the Wolf Moon Blood Orgy with me? What? No, no, no. I'm not going to do any of Animals will watch us fuck in the woods. Listen, listen, Mr. Shrink. My name's Tony Purgatelli. I'm from Purgatory, and you're not dead. I know. Yet. But you will be. Mm, delicious. And you've been pre-approved for our Platinum Elite Afterlife plan. If you could just sign. Afterlife? Are you here to kill me? I've got just the thing. Now, if you please, one clean slice from groin to gullet. I want to be butterflied like a shrimp when I meet Lucifer. Whoa, hold on. I'm not here to kill you, man. I I'm from purgatory. Oh, goodness. Where are my manners? Would you like to partake in my Jesus, Tony? No, go. No, sir, I would not. No in Holy Communion? I thought you were an agent of Lucifer. No, I'm not from hell. Jeez, I'm, I'm from purgatory. And, and you're sending me to the afterlife, yes. Pardon my incredulity, Tony. I mean, I am on board with this, but how do I know you aren't some kind of weirdo trying to take advantage of my hospitality and free Jisms? I, um, uh, I could prove it, maybe. My boss is death and he's a hundred foot tall skeleton. I got this pamphlet, I don't know. You work for a skeleton and you have nicely printed pamphlets? Surely you are a servant of Lucifer. Yeah, why do you keep saying stuff like that? I worship Satan. I'm a Satanist. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I see that on here. All right, I'm just going <laughs> to underline that a few hundred times. So where do I sign? How do I travel to the underworld? I want Lucifer to guide me hand and hoof to the sacrificial altar where he will sever my genitals with his fiery sword. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Actually, you're approved for heaven, it says here. You're going to heaven. What? There must be some sort of mistake. No, no, no mistakes, I assure you. Just sign here and you'll go straight That just won't do, Tony. I need to go to hell. Oh, well, see, hell is for evil people, Max. You, your file says you mostly lived and let live, you know? You, you never hurt anyone. I'm not pleased by what you're saying, Tony. Well, hold on. Heaven's not so bad. I mean, they do remove your genitals at the entrance. That's pretty good, right? But I've devoted my entire life and body to channeling Lucifer's darkness. Can you imagine me in heaven? I'd be an outcast. It'd be high school all over again. But it's heaven, man! It's eternal paradise! Perhaps this is above your pay grade, Tony. I will speak directly to your unholy superior and convince them myself. Who is your blasphemous department manager? I demand damnation! My manager is a demon made of eyeballs and I don't even know his direct extension. You're stuck with me, buddy. So be it, Tony. You are my conduit to Lucifer. You will take me to him. I will follow you into the darkest depths of hell. Oh, okay, just gonna mark this one not home. No, oh, please, be a regular person, please, be a regular person, please! Hello, Tony. Oh, Christ! Hardly. Are you recruiting more soldiers for the Lucifer's army? No, I sort of... Oh, sure. I, I just have to talk to this lady, Max. Please, if you're gonna be here, just stay quiet, okay? I brought more than enough jisms to share, Tony, if that's what you're worried about. Shush, you! 
what? Hi, Anna Yeshman, is it? Miss, Miss Yeshman, this is gonna sound weird, but my name's Tony Purgatelli, and- That does sound weird. Y you Italian or something? Oh, okay, I'm here from Purgatory, and you're not dead yet, but you will be, and I have news about your afterlife, and I've- uh... Ugh, I knew you were peddling some religious bullshit on me. No, 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 I assure you, this isn't a religious thing, I, I just- I... Hello, I'm Maximilian Alastair Schrank, and this is Tony. We are devout servants of Satan, and we are recruiting for unholy soldiers to die in the Thousand Year War of Revelations. I what? No, no, that's not it at all! Magical mumbo jumbo! There's nothing you could say to ever convince me to believe any of this hooey. Tony works for a skeleton. Well, I'm convinced. How do I sign up? No, it's not that, but, uh, well, okay, sure, you sign right here. So how does this work? Do I die right now? I'll tell you everything, just as soon as you sign. It says here you're pre-approved for Executive Plus. That's hell. Aw, lucky. Hey, give me that back! Hell, huh? Well, whichever. W wait my husband passed last year. Where'd he go? Will we be together? Oh, it says here, yeah, he's in hell too, so congratulations. God damn it! No! No, sir! I will burn hell to the goddamn ground before I hang on an inverted cross next to that shrimp-dicked bucket of chunk! Okay, well, it's not really up to me. I, uh, I, I, if I may I, offer a mutually beneficial solution, Tony here has assigned me to heaven, whereas I would greatly prefer to suckle eternally on the unholy teat of Lucifer in hell. Sure. And you want to go wherever your dead husband is not, which means heaven, right? Perhaps if you and I devote ourselves, mind, body, and soul to Tony and his teachings, he will allow us to do swapsies. Yeah, swapsies. Okay, I'll worship Tony, sure. Well, I can't do swapsies, though. I don't have the authority. I just can't... Ah, they do a dambula, tum tum Tony, diddly Tony, give us the swapsies, I beg of you. Ah, they, they do a dambula, tum tum Tony, diddly Tony, give us the swapsies, no. I beg of you. Ah, what a beautiful day! Indeed, a gift straight from Heavenly Father. Oh, hi there! We're from the Church of Latter Day! Oh, thank God! You guys gotta help me out here! Well, that's exactly what we're here for! Alright, shut up! You guys are used to going door-to-door -door selling your made-up religion or whatever, right? Well, that's not exactly fair. Our beliefs are very- No, listen! Have you guys ever accidentally gotten somebody to believe you? Hey! I- I don't- that, that isn't... No. No, 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 this is bad. I was just supposed to get people to agree to a pre-approved heaven a hell package so they could skip purgatory, but now... What now? You can approve people for heaven? He must be an angel of Heavenly Father! What are we doing with these dumb books? He's the real deal! Yeah! Give us the I beg of you! Wait, 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 stop that! How do you guys all know the chant? Oh, God, oh, no! Oh, God, oh, no! Tum, tum, Tony, Tilly, Tony, give us the swapsies, I beg of you! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, pick up! Yo! Yeah, it's me, it's Tony! God damn it, Tony! I'm on vacation! Why are you calling me? And how'd you get this number? We even gave you a bone phone. You did at the beginning. Oh, right. Hey, vacation, you said you were attending to business. I lied. 100 foot tall skeletons always lie, Tony. It's the first rule of skeletons. So, okay, look, I think I maybe sort of kind of accidentally started a religious cult. Ugh, how bad is it? It's bad. Okay, listen closely, Tony. Here's what you're gonna do. Are they all in the same place? Yeah, they're all inside of a house. Okay, good. Burn it down. What? Burn it. Kill them. You have to kill them, Tony. It's the only way. Burn them. No, Death, I can't. I just can't. They're already pre-approved, right? Complete your mission. But, but, but there's these, these Mormons who joined us, and they're not on my list, even. <sighs> they were never going to get what they wanted, Tony. Look in the back of the folder I gave you. You'll find 20 bucks and some matches. Go buy gasoline. Oh, I didn't sign up for this. Why did you give me matches? What's happening? Kill them. Call me back when it's done. Actually, don't call me back. Kill them all. Bye. Don't fuck up a shit stick. Oh god, I can't go through with this. How am I gonna do this? Oh god, it's too much. Oh. Tony, the most magnificent thing has happened. Come quickly. Holy fucking, what happened? Your flock has grown, Tony. All of these people want in on your afterlife swapsies. We have shared your teaching. Oh fuck, the folder. The, the folder. folder. Tony has returned as the folder foretold. Praise be to Tony. Praise, Praise be, be to Tony. Tony. He is our path to heaven. He is our highway to hell. The time of transcendence is upon us. Transcend for Tony. Transcend, transcend, transcend. transcend. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, ooh. Uh, uh, uh.
Oh. Oh, jeez, they didn't sign. Operator. Yeah, I need a pickup. Hey, Death, I'm back from Earth. Tony, my man! How'd it go? You get all those pre-approval clients signed up? Duh, no. Ah, uh, that's too bad. How'd it go with the arson thing? You squashed that cult? Oh, well, uh, I actually didn't have to kill them. They, they killed themselves uh, be because of me. Ooh, harsh. I feel you, bud. Why, 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 why are you being so, uh... Chill? Vacation, my dude! Vacation! I'm mellow as fuck! Oh, okay, because I, I thought you were going to be real mad at me and, you know, put me in the... Oh, the Soul Shredder? Nah, no, not this time, Tony. I'm far too chillaxed. <laughs> Next time for sure. Oh, okay. So, uh, I guess all these people that killed themselves, they just, uh... Tony? Yeah? Tony, shut up. Oh, oh, oh. Shh. Put some lotion on my feet. Oh, okay. These dogs are barking, Tony. Get to rubbing. No, oh, I could just get in the Soul Shredder if you don't oh, mind. Start with the pinky toe, Tony. Oh. <laughs> Picky Tony. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Tony! Oh, Max, what are you doing here? Well, after we all transcended... Yeah, whoa, 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 wait, wait, what's transcending again? Is that like a weird orgy thing? No, we just all partook of my anointed jisms and shed our human flesh prisons. Oh. We had a weird orgy before that. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, well, you don't still worship me anymore, right? Oh, heavens no, Tony. Oh, that's good, I guess. And, while I no longer see you as Lord Satan's prophet of sorrow, I would still like to be your friend. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, all right, Max. Uh, sure. Would you like to partake of my ninjisms? Oh, God, no! How'd you even bring that stuff here? I made more. This batch isn't laced with cyanide. Uh, no thanks. Just regular old sipping jism. I'll pass. Do you want to jack off in the woods No! Me? Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, they're all gone, stupid little bugs. You gotta get rid of every last one. If even one escapes, they reinfest, mindlessly multiplying and gnawing away at everything they encounter until everything's shit. All it takes is one little termite left alive to ruin everything. It's almost a metaphor or something. Things changed in my office since the last episode. Let's see if you can spot them all. Look, all I'm saying is I just don't think you're heaven material. What do you mean? I was the best Viking to ever exist. Yeah, well, being the best Viking doesn't exactly amount to you being a good person. They like good people up there. Not a good person, but I was well known across the land. They even sang songs about me. Oh yeah, you were definitely- Harold the heinous, nobody is insane as Harold the heinous, that's why he's famous. He'll pillage your village, he'll rape your- No, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Well, I was going to say anus. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Listen, Harold- I was the best at it. Right, that's my point. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and send you where people who are the best at that sort of thing go, okay? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Woo! Go, Tony! You're the best, Tony. Oh, what? That's weird. Hey, fuck you, Tony! Yeah, that sounds normal. Well done on the verdict, there, Tony. Yeah, it looks like I did a great job on that one. Lots of cheering. It's kind of strange, actually. Great work, Tony. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I'm Demonessa, and you're cute. Especially when you send people to hell. Okay. <laughs> That was weird, but also sort of hot. You think she likes me? Perhaps. Demons are sexually liberated creatures, open to all manner and configuration of partners. Be careful, Tony. She's a succubus. Well, she's not my what? No, Tony. She feeds off sexual energy from her host lover, leaving them an empty husk of unrequited sexual frustration. Though, if I had an ex-wife, this would be a pretty good time to say something like, oh, just like my ex-wife, but... But you've always been alone. Yeah, always alone. Hey, Tony. Feeling heavenly today? You gonna send lots of people to heaven? No way. Tony's gonna send people to hell. All those bad people, right, Tony? <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Nobody's ever paid this much attention to me. This is kind of nice. Whoa. You should have sent that Viking to heaven, you stupid shit. Uh... He was a beautiful soul. Oh, hey. Whoa. Do I know you? Tread lightly, you fucking ball bag. Damien has his eyes on you. Oh. Hey, Max, uh, do you know why that angel, Damien, was so pissed off at me? You cost him quite a lot of winnings, Tony. Oh, uh, winnings? 
You don't know? Oh my, Tony, there's something of a betting pool going on surrounding your clients. Well, what do you mean? At first it was just a little distraction from the eons of doldrums and boredom, but then it became one of the only activities that people in the office actually look forward to. So you guys bet on where caseworkers send souls? Just where you send them, Tony. You have a reputation for being unpredictable. You send people places seemingly at random. It's like you don't even get to know them. I, I've, I've been trying. Hey, Tony. How's it going, buddy? I'm heading to the kitchen. You need anything? Refill your coffee? Back rub? You good on paper clips, buddy? You want me to suck that dick? What about staples? You good there? Oh, I'm good, guys. Thanks. Thanks a lot. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling like it's a hell day or a heaven day or... Oh, uh, hey, I'm feeling like how can there be any kind of day if time here is irrelevant and meaningless? Am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> See, Tony? Everyone is quite invested in your moods now. They are trying to read you like a short, frumpy barometer. Oh, that's weird. And manipulate you for their own gain, like assholes. Hey, Death, I got a real problem. Uh, yeah, me too. I've got a wicked hangover. Make this quick, Tony. Oh, okay, well, see, people have been betting on where I send souls. Yeah, so fucking what? O okay, what are they betting because you don't pay us anything? I don't know. Tickets, probably? Tickets? Yeah, tickets for the prize table. There's a prize table? Ah, Tony, inside voices, please. God, have you ever read your employee handbook? Screw it, here's another one. This one's got pictures in it. I truly believe you can read it if you try. Uh, how do you get tickets? I, I've never gotten any tickets. Oh, you can get them lots of ways, Tony. Good performance reviews from your managers. Never got one of those. Gambling. Yeah. The skee-ball machine. There's a skee-ball machine? Ah, Tony, volume. Yes, read your handbook. I could have been playing skee-ball instead of spending my breaks crying under my desk. Well, you certainly have the high score for crying under your desk, Tony. Can't get tickets for that, though. Oh, I don't even care about the tickets! They're betting on me, Death! Like I'm a mud wrestler or a dog being ridden by a midget! It's degrading! Hey, hey, we say little person, Tony. Also, you were okay with it until you realized they were using you? Well, yeah, that's how exploitation works. So just pretend you didn't learn the second part. That's not so bad, right? Ignorance is bliss. So you're totally okay with this? Ah, uh, Tony, when you burst into my office, I try to read you. Like, well, like a short, fat, stupid, bald thermometer. No. If you seem hot, I try to cool you down. If you seem cold, I try to keep you there. Not because I care, because I want you to get the fuck out of my office as quickly as possible. Oh, okay, why does everyone think I'm weather equipment? Today, Tony, the reading I'm getting from you says, mm, tell them not to fight. If people are being nice to you for whatever reason, enjoy it. Take it. I, I guess that's not so bad. I mean, this sort of makes a lot of sense, Death. It is sort of nice to have people paying attention to me. I haven't been this popular since I was covered in old bread and I met all those pigeons. <laughs> what are you doing, Tony? Are you gonna fart? Do not fart in my office. Oh, I was trying to do a flashback, but I can't. Never mind. I'll just go away now. Sorry for bothering you. Hey, Tony. What? Why don't you have a ticket and hit the prize table? On me. What are you gonna get from the prize table? I'm shooting for the sweet keytar. If that noise, I'm all about the game station. 100,000 tickets, baby! Think I could borrow some of your tickets to get myself some plastic spiders? Oh. Well, if ignorance is bliss. Here, you son of a bitch. You keep losing me tickets by sending souls to the wrong afterlife, and it's gonna fucking stop. Are you listening? So, what are you gonna do? Kill me? We're already dead. Ow! What the hell? Hurts, doesn't it? Now imagine I'm punching your arm, but instead of my fist, it's this knife, and instead of your arm, it's your eyes. So, here's what you're gonna do. The next client that comes to your desk, you're gonna send them to heaven. I'm betting everything on heaven. B -b 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 send them to heaven, or you're taking the knife train straight to I Town, you fucking dick. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh man, I'm in too deep. Oh shit, come on, please be a good one. I gotta send somebody to heaven or that guy's gonna fuck my eyes out with a knife. <laughs>
Oh, thank God, it's a little tiny baby. Hello, tiny baby. Hello. Oh, that's a weird way for a tiny baby to talk, Mr. Tiny Baby. Uh, okay, well, I'm Tony, this is Purgatory, and you're dead. And you will be determining the fate of my immortal soul? Actually, yes. Uh, but don't worry, little baby. You're just a little baby, so little babies pretty much always go to, uh... Hell! Why? Send me to hell, Tony. That is where heathens go, isn't it? What do you mean, little baby? I could never be welcomed into the open bosom of heaven, for you see, Tony, I was never baptized. Thousand tickets on hell! I don't know, little baby. There's a picture of you here at your christening. They didn't baptize you? I'm Catholic. We sprinkle, Tony. I was never sprinkled. I was submerged. Submerged? Oh, dunked like a Baptist. Two thousand on heaven! You'd be shocked at how little that actually matters, baby. No one even checks. That in the foreskin. No one cares, it turns out. I was far more than dunked, Tony. I was drowned in the abysmal baptismal. Oh, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard, tiny baby. Okay, we gotta get you to heaven. Oh, Oh crap, this is bad. Make that 3,000 on heaven! But wait. Well, what now? There is more, Tony. For you see, I'm hecka gay. 4,000 tickets on hell! Well, I mean, that's not actually a problem, but, but, but how do you even know? I know. Oh, I totally know. Look, don't be so hard on yourself, baby. Just just listen, you need to- uh... I killed my mother during childbirth. I'm a murderer. Oh, sure, they said it was medical complications, but for robbing the world of her sweet, shining light, I deserve eternal damnation. Flames for me, Tony. Flames. You're being very dramatic, baby. Well, I'm very gay. Send that baby to heaven. Tony, sweetie. Send him to hell. We never get babies in hell, and we just go nuts over them. They're like little kittens that talk and poop their pants. Yeah, yeah, but the other guy with the eye knives. Five thousand for heaven! If you send him to hell, maybe I'll give you seven minutes in heaven. Oh, I like that. You go fucker! Ten thousand on hell! I'm gonna slice up your eyeballs, you little bitch! Oh, but I gotta do the right thing, too! Heaven! All in! Oh, everybody, shut up! I have to think about this! Oh, okay, stay here, baby. Oh, oh, Hey, Death. God, Tony, damn it. Close the door. It's too bright. Oh, okay. No, don't slam it. Fuck. It's an elevator. Yeah. Hey, man, the stakes out there are too high. Personal stakes, too. I think I might either get murdered or laid, depending on how I play this. Tony, I want to show you a presentation. Can you see okay, Tony? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, Tony. This presentation is about how much of a shit I give about what happens to you in this office. No. Oh. Okay, slide one. See that? It's blank. Now here's slide two. Uh, I'm sensing a pattern here. Okay now, Tony, here's slide 48. Uh -huh, yeah, I get it. This is gratuitous. Okay, I'll just go. I, I just wanted some advice. Tony, I've already given you all the advice you need. Now fuck off. Well, Tony, what's your call? My afterlife must be decided. I trust you'll do what's right and send me to hell. Listen to that baby, Tony! Don't listen to him! He's too young to consent! He can't make his own decisions, man! Send him to hell, Tony. Hell is so hot right now. Send him to heaven or I'll fucking slice you. Okay, I've made my decision, baby. Have to carefully review in your file. Heaven! Hell! All in! I've decided to send you... All in on heaven! A hundred thousand on hell! I'll match that! To Earth to have a second chance in life! Oh, what the fuck did he say? Can you do that? According to the employee handbook, page 1382, paragraph 4, a newborn soul extinguished before making a single conscious decision may not be held accountable to standard judgment. It says I can send him back to Earth! You all thought I wouldn't read it! That's right, you manipulative jerks! I read the handbook! I read all of it! God damn it! I'm ruined! My tickets! Tony, you motherfucker! I hate you so much! Wait, everyone, hold on. Someone did bet on Earth. They bet one single ticket on Earth at a million to one odds. It was... Say it! Say who it was! Tony Purgatelli! <laughs> Right, you crap bags! A million tickets for Tony! You tried to use me, but I turned it on you, didn't I? How's that for unpredictable? I'm gonna fucking kill you, Tony! In the eye! Fuck you, Tony! Fuck you! Oh, whatever will I buy with my one million tickets? Mm -hmm. Like 
guitar. Ow, you wanted this? You wanted this right here? Oh, no, come on, Tony, not the game station. <laughs> Tony, God damn it, Tony! You're fucking dead, you're fucking dead. You were my friend, God damn it! How could you do this to me? I'll tell you what, just go ahead and give me everything. All of it. All the prizes. Hey, Tony, what about me? I'm actually your real friend. Oh, yeah, and for Max. <laughs> what do you want? Like a wacky wall walker or a pencil topper? Oh, get the Velcro dartboard. Those are cool. I want to cover my body in plastic spiders. Oh, and a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> Tony wins! Tony oh, God, wins! Tony wins! Tony wins! I, uh, I probably can't ask anybody for help, right? Max? Max, are you there? I'm stuck! I don't want any help, Tony. I'm so content. Oh, is that on your... Oh! Look in my eyes, Tony. They're sharing a moment. Ugh. Okay, it's the season finale, so somebody's probably pregnant or whatever. Alrighty, let's see who's next. Hey, Tony, which one's the good one again? Heaven or hell? Yeah, they're both pretty terrible, actually. It's kind of subjective. Oh. Hey, Tony, there's a dog at my desk. What do I do? Did you ask him if he's a good boy? Hey, Tony, we ran out of coffee cups, so I poured some coffee right into my hands. But now I can't type. <laughs> Oh man, these new hires are killing me! Isn't it great? So many fresh faces! Oh, they keep asking me for help, Chad Bradley! Me! You've been here longer, Tony, but of course... Time is irrelevant and has no meaning here! But still, they look up to you! Why are there so many new hires anyway, Chad Bradley? It was probably a recruitment effort. Recruitment? I, I don't follow. You know, if we need to staff up, death causes accidents. Oh, okay, whatever. I guess that makes sense. At office buildings. Wait a second! <laughs> oh, you got your tie stapled to your forehead, buddy! And it doesn't go there? No, of course not! Dad! Was I recruited?! Uh, no. Okay, thank God, because, you know, I died in an office building when Everyone I... else in your office was recruited, Tony. You sort of... Uh, came along as part of the package. You know, like when you buy a house and they leave the garden hose behind? Hey, free hose! Ooh, what the hell, Dad? You killed me?! <laughs> You killed me! Whoa, ho, ho, easy there, free hose. You're getting water all over me. You stole my life! Look, when purgatory staff levels fall, I have to replenish the workforce. So I knocked out an office building or two. A big deal. That's mass murder! It's mass merger. We murdered them until they were dead. Screaming bloody merger. I died young and for nothing. It was all meaningless! Uh, your death was plenty meaningful, Tony. Yeah, it means one more mindless drone for your bullshit business! Tony, calm down. Then why do you even need more workers? Nobody ever leaves here, everybody's stuck! Tony, I lose workers all the time! Some of them move on to their afterlife, some of them burst into my office one too many times and go into the soul shredder. There's the soulmate clause, stapler accidents. Wait, 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 wait. Soulmate clause? Yes. Occasionally, a purgatory worker will be asked to evaluate their soulmate. You know, a spouse, a long-lost love, sometimes a sibling. It's not often, but we found that after sending their soulmate off to the afterlife, that worker's productivity dropped to basically zero. So, we decided to just let them go. Go where? To the same afterlife as their soulmate. Usually heaven. You know what, Death? You should not have told me that! Now I know I can- Can what, Tony? Find your one true love? Get out of purgatory and go to paradise? Tony, I didn't hide the soulmate clause from you for the same reason I wouldn't hide my car keys from a dog. There's nothing you can do about it. We'll see about that. Stop that. What do you- what? No. Oh hey. man, this is it. I'm finally having a flashback. No. I'm doing it. I'm don't, doing don't it. Don't have a flashback in my office, Tony. Stop it. Tony Pergatelli. Ah! Give me all your money or I'll fill you full of meatballs. Oh, hey, Pamela. Jeez, you got me. Get it, huh? Submachine gun. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty solid sandwich pun. <laughs> I got you good, Tony. Man, this is your fifth sub this week. Uh, yeah, I just really love those sandwiches. And it's only Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my mother always said, uh, three meatball subs a day keeps the doctor away. Of course, you know, she she died when she was 35, so uh, oh. her, her heart exploded right out of her chest. Oh my. And it was more meatball than heart. Yeah, uh, here you go. You know, if I didn't know any better, I think you were ordering all these sandwiches just to get in my pants. No, oh, no, what? No, I just really like sandwiches. Tony? I, I, what? 
I'm fucking with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got me again. You're so easy, Tony. I know. No! Oh! Uh, you better not be flashing back, Tony. I mean it. Oh, 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 God. You did. You just did. Oh, you're all sweaty. Gross. Now I know. Pambola is my soulmate. I don't care. Okay, let's find Pambola. You know, this would go so much more easily if I'd ever asked her last name. There she is. There's my sweet Pambola. Oh man, what luck! She's dead! <laughs> and she's here in purgatory! Wow, that's convenient! And her caseworker is... Oh no... So they cast me out of heaven! An archangel in hell? And for what? Mating with a demon? Uh, oh yeah? So I led an unholy demon army to heaven, yada yada yada! Now I'm stuck here in purgatory! And, uh, so, so I'm going... Huh? Oh, hell. Bye. <sighs> Hello, Tony. Hey, hey, Samuel. Uh, any chance you would mind trading one of your cases with me? Let me guess. Did you find out your long-lost love was in purgatory, and now you want to interview her so you could take advantage of the soulmate clause? Dyke, uh, well, yeah, yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to do. Tony... Whoever this woman is, she will destroy you! She will pierce your heart with her crooked horns and stamp all over your balls with her cloven goat hooves! Hey man, your personal experiences with women being actual for real demons seems like it's clouding your judgment. Uh, anyway, her name's Pamela and I need to- Curse you, Brianna! I hope you get cast out of hell and sent to purgatory so we can be together again! <laughs> so, man, you are an emotional roller coaster, Samuel. <laughs> Shut up, Tony! <laughs> oh, oh, Sam! Here comes another flashback! You're gonna do it this time, Tony. You're gonna show Pamela how you feel. Got it all written down so you don't screw it up. Fourteenth time's the charm! It's me, Tony, the Sandwich Crocodile. Oh, uh, what? I'm the sandwich that eats you. <laughs> Got you, Tony. You goofball. You know, when someone buys food for the whole office, they usually do it in one order. Yeah, whole office. Yeah, right. I, I guess I'm just weird and stupid and ugly and short. You're not fat, Tony. Don't even say that. Oh, I never said fat. And you're not weird. You're just peculiar. And that's what makes you interesting. Okay, uh, right. Hey, Pamela, listen, there's something I've been wanting to give you. What is it, Tony? It's, um, it's just, I, I, I want you to know how I feel and, uh... Yes? A tip. Yeah, that, that's it, just that. Just a tip. You did a good delivery. Oh, um, thanks, Tony. <laughs> okay, I'll be seeing you. Yeah, see, seeing you. Thanks. Hey, uh, excuse me, I have some boxes I need to deliver to all the structural weak points of this building. Over that way. Don't, you dropped something. Oh, hey, thanks. Say, uh, between you and me, you might want to take a long lunch today. No thanks, I have 14 sandwiches. Suit yourself. See you soon. To what? So you see, Samael, I never got a chance to tell her how I really- Samael left almost immediately after your flashback started. He's a mess. Poor guy. He left you this client file. Said he was a softie for grand romantic gestures. Shut the fuck up forever, Chad Bradley! I get to interview Pamela! Oh, soulmate, here I come! Hey, Tony. Uh, yeah, what is it, Chad Bradley? You go get her, buddy. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Hi, I'm, uh, Tony Purgatelli. This is Purgatory and you're dead. Tony? Tony, it's you! You son of a bitch! You never paid me for your last sandwich order! Whoa, whoa, what? My boss accused me of stealing the money! I got fired! You ruined my life! I died penniless in the street because of you! Oh, God, Pamela, no! Tony? Yeah? Tony? What? I'm fucking with you. Oh, okay, a good one, I guess. You got me. So you're my caseworker? You decide if I go to heaven or hell? Well, I wish I would have brought a meatball sub. Oh, right, because of how I always was in love with sandwiches. Listen, Pamela, th there's a reason you're here with me. Um, I, I, I... I already know, Tony. Oh, you, you do? Of course. 
You know, Tony, I feel so stupid now. Stupid? Why? I had such a crush on you, Tony. I traded deliveries with my coworkers so I could always be the one to deliver your meatball subs. And I waited for so long for you to ask me out, but you never... I never did. And then, well... I died. You were sandwiched between the floors of that building. Yeah. You were the meatballs, and the bread was concrete and rebar, and probably asbestos for cheese, maybe. Yeah, just a big old dead sandwich. Listen, Pamela, that's the past. We're both here now, and we can be together. And when you died, I realized something. Life is short, you know? I couldn't keep waiting for what I wanted. I opened my own sandwich shop. I, uh, I called it Purgatelli's. Oh, it's a tribute to me? Well, yeah, and also because it sounded wicked Italian. It was good for business. Oh, Pamela, that sounds really great. I I'm so happy for you, but, but with this, we can finally- One of my repeat customers, he reminded me of you, actually. I asked him out. We dated and then we got married. Pamela, I- We were really soulmates. And we never would have found each other if not for you. Oh, okay. I'm glad I was able to die at a point that it moved your personal narrative forward in a positive direction. So what is it that you have there? What did you want to give me? Oh, uh... It's a comment card. All right. Yeah, just, you know, put down how satisfied or dissatisfied you were with me. Tony Purgatelli, the sweetest, kindest, goofiest, most peculiar, needs to work on his self-confidence, and five stars. No, five meatballs. Thank you, Tony. Oh, sure. No, for everything. What is it, Tony? I'm pretty busy. I'm done. With this conversation? Great. Oh, with all of it. My life sucked, my death sucked, and what I've seen of the afterlife sucks! Put me in the soul shredder! Make me not exist anymore, please! So, your little soulmate clause plan didn't work out so well, did it? You were right. I just want my soul shredded. Tony? Yeah? Tony? What? Hey, Tony? Yes? I made it up! What?! The whole soul shredder thing, Tony! I made it up! To scare you! It's a big-ass coffee grinder! I say stuff just to scare you all the time! Fear seems to be the only thing that motivates you, Tony! I don't even think you can destroy a soul. What, you lied?! <laughs> Tony, look at me! I'm a giant skeleton in a black robe and a huge sombrero. What part of all this screams total honesty to you? I'm not your friend, and I'm not your mentor. I'm your boss! And as your boss, it's my job to get some fucking productivity out of you sometimes. Remember when I told you your death wasn't meaningless? Yeah. Do you see what I mean now? Yeah, sort of, I guess. I mean... My death jump-started Pamela's life. My death mattered to her. If you hadn't died, she would have ended up just like you. Alone. Unfulfilled. Probably pushing paper in purgatory. It just doesn't seem fair. Death not fair? Tony, I'm the fairest of them all. I kill everyone the same. Everyone gets one death, guaranteed. Except for those weird jellyfish that live forever. I haven't figured them out yet, but god damn it, I'm coming for them. <laughs> what the fuck do I do now? Go. Back. To work. But I'm terrible at this job! Yes, you are, but you're less terrible at it now than you were before. You're getting to know your clients. But I'm more miserable than I've ever been. Well, sure. Knowing people sucks. They're complicated and weird. Then they leave. It's the worst. But people leaving can be good. Like how my leaving helped Pamela. No, like you leaving my office. Right now. Go. Get. Back to work. Hey, Death? I is there an ending to all this? Maybe. We'll just have to wait a few seasons and see. Seasons? You know, purgatory seasons. Infinite summer, never-ending winter. You know, because time is irrelevant and it has... It has no meaning here, yeah. That's right. Now for the last time this season, get out! <laughs>